Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking down this quick weave. Um, we're in the salon. There's no one here so I can like just be free. But yeah, so we're gonna take this down. I'm gonna wash my hair, wash my um, extensions, and then if we have enough time, we are going to put them back in because I like wearing a quick weave, so that's what we're gonna do. My stuff is already like lifting up already, but it does, it's still a little bit there. If you can't pull it off, then I would honestly just put warm water on your hair and that should get everything off, but I'm gonna turn around. So you can kind of see here that mine is basically like already off back here. So, it's not going to be that hard for me to get mine off. You can talk. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain, turn around and let it rain. I can breathe it feels like kind of chilly back there so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm actually gonna wash the extensions before I wash my hair that way um, it can be drying but basically like you can see this is my cap right here it's probably easier to take this um, out from the top but since that back those few tracks in the back were already coming up I just decided to get those um, I do think with my next install I'm going to sew my cap down so it doesn't drag as much but um, yeah the rest of these tracks are not as loose so I'm gonna go ahead and apply water the warm water and it should just slip right out oh, yeah so this glue is really strong so like I said, if you guys have any problems, it probably would be easier to just use the warm water because as you can see here, if I pull, this, this is going nowhere. Don't you be afraid to grab the towel. Like a Friday night on the weekend I can wish for my feet I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like I know you for me I just don't want this uh, You can see there's a little glue residue in here um, which is why I'm thinking about um, I'm thinking about sewing my cap down this time but I'm just gonna put a little bit of protectant on there and we're gonna just let that sit while I take my braids out okay so this is what I'm using it is the salon pro exclusive super hair bond remover <laughs> Here's a little shampoo too that I'm using. I'm mainly just gonna focus this on the track um, just to get whatever residual glue is still on there. I'm just gonna rub, 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 and it should come right off. For the actual length of the extensions, I like to use color. Um, I like to use shampoo for color treated hair because it the pH um, just balances with the hair. It helps balance the hair and close the cuticle. So if you're experiencing issues with your extensions, which I'm not, but just to help keep those cuticles closed, I'm gonna use that and a moisturizing shampoo on the actual extension. Don't you be afraid. Like 
Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Okay guys, so I put some Olaplex and some uh, The Cure by Amika on there. This is the conditioner and I'm just gonna let this sit for about five to seven minutes. it's like wet everywhere but I'm gonna go ahead and put the conditioner in and let it sit for about five ish uh, ten minutes then I'm gonna check on my extensions to see if I need to move them around a little bit I'm using the Olaplex number five and then I'm probably gonna mix in a little bit of the cure Just about dry once it's dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there, and this is again, it's just about dry too. But I wanted to give the hair a little bit of time, like separate it in the dryer. Girl. All right, so I'm gonna use my trio. We're using the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Vault, and then I'm going to use the blow dry spray. Blah, blow dry spray. This one is strictly for protection. This one is strictly for uh, repair and restoring, and this one does a little bit of both. So I could just use this one, but I would never, even if I just use this one, I would still use the Kenra. But yeah, so I'm just gonna spray this all over. I will caution though, be careful with how much of this Kenra one you, do, you use, because if you do have finer hair, it will weigh your hair down. Ladies, ladies, whenever you want to straighten your hair and you're blow drying it, it is important to blow dry it when it is wet. If you need to re-wet it, re-wet it. That's what I'm doing because oof, I'm over here struggling. This is a little bit of that Olaplex Bond Smoother. Blow 
No! Hello! <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we're feeling like Alright, we got one half done. Like now we got this other half to go. Don't you be afraid. Just belong. You don't need no space. Just follow me. Like a mirror, you reflect me. At this point, I can either straighten my hair, trim my little ends. This side over here is always way weaker. It's been like that for years now, but I could straighten it or whatever. I'm gonna do another quick weave though. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So if you wanna see that, let me know. But this is what my hair looks like after I've taken down my quick weave. It was a little bit of a process, but not that bad. This side, my left side always thrives and my right side is always bald head. So I always wind up cutting my hair because of this side. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching my quick weave takedown process. I hope um, I could share some tips for you guys to um, take yours down whenever you decide to do one or get one. Uh, it wasn't really that bad. It wasn't any different from a sew-in, although I really don't get sew-ins. Um, well, I will say dealing with glue could be a little bit more complicated than just dealing with cutting the thread out but plenty of people cut their own hair trying to get thread out so yeah that was it make sure you love on your hair you deep condition it you trim it i definitely should trim mine but i did so already um be sure to check out my next video i'm doing a side part quick weave next i think i'm addicted to quick weaves now but yeah i'll see y'all in the next video bye I want it, I need it, I swap that plastic, plastic, plastic Ooh, I'm living lavish